Hi everyone, welcome back to my, to my review pages. Today, the Stock Scenery Construction Handbook here on Book Reviews by Parker. Here we go. So before I start though, I'm using the white copy. This was published in about uh, 1990. And here is what the current cover looks like, which you can find on Amazon at this link above. Um, and please, if you could buy through my link, it supports my web pages and my channels and such. Uh, and it goes a long way. Also, please like and uh, subscribe. So let's get started. So the Stock Scenery Construction Handbook is a terrific book that I've been using for years when I was building scenery and such. And let's look over a few of the parts. Um, it'll go over, it has a lot of information on tools, measuring, cutting, and that sort of thing. Um, it goes further into discussing the grading of lumber and such. Uh, it talks about uh, all the things you need to use in your shop and, the, and what types of lumber is going to be used well for building scenery. We've got techniques and such. We've got uh, nailing patterns for your corner blocks and your keystones, as well as hints and instructions on using um, measuring devices and such. Stock scenery, including flats and how to deal with uh, door flats and reveals. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, here are some more door flats. So uh, building a stock door flat that goes into a door flat insert right there. Uh, we've got uh, some information about using uh, covering with muslin, soft covering and how to deal with it as well as more information to teach you about muslin and other materials that might be used for soft covering flats. Now this is a terrific book um, for the, your volunteers. They can, you can give them this book. Uh, you, a lot of teachers I know will have volunteer parents who will come in and build your sets for you. Uh, and uh, if they don't understand what a flat is, uh, I heard a story once of someone who built a stud wall it was a wall of flats and they needed to have a wall on stage and they used um, sheetrock and studs so obviously we don't want to do that in theater that's way too much we've got a section on dealing with uh, moving your flats around um, handling flats oh this is one of my favorites this is lashing uh, lashing your flats together i've got some more information in my slideshow here check this out so these are rigged flats, actually. Let's go to the next. And you need to use some of this for rigging, but let's look at some lashed flats. This is a series of flats that I built for a show, As You Like It. And they're lashed together with the cords going back and forth. And that is exactly what this is teaching us, is how to do this. And this is fantastic for stock flats. If you want to have a lot of stock flats in your inventory and you set up each flat with the uh, with these the brace cleats and um, and all these different parts in the right places, then um, each one will fit within with, next to the other one. You don't have to refigure them out each time. So the, these lashing, I'm a big fan of lashing hardware, as uh, as you can see by what I've done in this um, in these uh, flats here. Um, we've got more information about your flat hardware. We've got a stage brace here. Okay, so quick story. I was teaching in a college and I was relatively new and I was setting up some flats and I go to the shop and I grab a couple of these and I'm walking out of the shop into the theater and a student asks me, no joke, a student asked me saying, what are you doing with the focusing sticks? So they thought that these things were used to focus lights, to reach up and actually focus lights. Uh, and then, uh, so we had a lesson on, on uh, flat hardware. Uh, but this shows us what these all are. And surprisingly enough, these are still available. Almost all of these parts are still available. The stage brace parts are available here in the U.S. I found them in Britain. I'm still looking for sources here in the U.S. Uh, and I'll put a link in the show notes below. Uh, once I find the U.S. Lo uh, locations, we've got uh, knot tying for what you need for what you're doing. Um, what else have I noted here? A little bit more about uh, your rigging. Let's take a look at my slide here that I had. There it is. So here we have a uh, trim chain with um, a, attached to a cable with a shackle. And then below that for finer adjustments is 
is the uh, turnbuckle and then at the bottom we have a a hook a bottom hanging iron which is shown right here okay now when you use this the beauty about this is that it lifts it up from the bottom so it's holding all the weight um, and when you attach these you can use a screw in one but you should really use a bolt with a nut and a washer in the second one so it really grips the flat um, so it doesn't bounce out um, and so on and be sure that uh, when you get this gear that uh, this stuff is rated uh, rated hardware is always the way to go uh, some more information about Dutchmaning. I've seen a lot of question on dealing with Dutchman and how to close up the seams between flats. And so this talks about Dutchmaning and it'll talk about the uh, materials to use for Dutchman, uh, the cloth and the mixture of chemicals. I usually use water and glue or water and paint um, or water and size. So it'll talk about that stuff. We can also have this section on drops, on constructing your own drops. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have a sewn hem on the top. This one here is using two pieces of wood as a clamp to uh, hold the top of the cloth. And then down here is how to sew it together. There's a lot of valuable information in here. Here is, uh, they're talking about platforms. So we're now getting into platforms. Um, we've got, uh, you know, joining techniques, um, how to lay them out for curves. Um, how to deal with legs, different kinds of legs, step legs and such. You always want to support the frame of the platform from the bottom. You don't want to just trust bolts. This talks about how to do that, <clears throat> as well as some uh, pages on my website. There's a whole platforming section on hstech.org. Uh, there's a link below um, on how to deal with platforming and such. We talk a little bit about caster dollies in this book and how to set up guides on the floor. Okay, there's a lot of stuff uh, that you're going to find valuable. Now, for those of you that want to build some stock scenery, parallels is a terrific thing to be using. So if we have here, we have a parallel. This folds up and uh, folds up into these patterns so you can stock them. You can pack them tightly and you can put them away for keep them for stock use. And here I have some shows here. Let me just go back to my slides. And next, next, next. Oh, here's another one with those stage braces. Uh, it's flats with lashed together and then using the stage braces holding up the, st the flats. Uh, uh, this was a bit of a lesson plan when I was teaching uh, the concept of rigging the flats. And then here we go. So here we have our uh, the beginnings of these parallels. That's an end with a jig on the table so they all frame the same. It's very important to make sure they're all the same. There's the lengthwise set. Here's a, a bunch of pieces waiting to be assembled. And then here is a, a bunch of these parallels set up on rolling platforms. I needed platforms that are about three feet high um, to be on wheels. So we put casters on the bottom platform and then we put the parallels on the top of that and they're all screwed down and attached and secured so they don't slip. Um, and then this is what the whole thing looked like afterwards. So we have um, stock platforms along with stock parallels on top of stock platforms um, on top of casters. And they worked out really, really well. Um, so let's go back to the book. So this covers platforms and all those. Uh, we have a whole section on steps. Building steps of different types. Um, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's have some math. So for those of you that uh, want to use an element of reality in your math classes, where you could even give this to the math teacher, we've got a bunch of stuff dealing with math and later on in the in the book, um, shop math. And there's a lot of pages here on shop math and how to deal with making things bigger and smaller and triangles and that sort of thing is terrific for teaching. And then here we have a few shop projects that you could have your students do in the shop and you can have them build their own push stick for the table saw and um, some other techniques on how to use the shop tools uh, in your shop uh, a feather stick to hold the, the wood next to the fence on your table saw um, so it's a terrific book and there is a newer one out 19 
um, 90. This one was published. And the newer one is this one with the orange cover that was also uh, supplemented by Mike Monzes. Um, so it's a terrific book. Uh, please like and subscribe the channel. And in the comments, go ahead and leave any uh, requests for other books that you might want to hear about. I'm going through my library first. And any books that I don't have, uh, I might be able to reach out and get a copy of. Um, if you could join my email list, there's a link down below. And uh, have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.